Time now for the Insider's Quick Six. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan does it for the first time. Question one, in a few words, how would you as a voter describe you as a governor? Well, you know, I um, I think most of the voters feel the way I do. They were just frustrated with what's going on in our state. And I, I think they think I've done a good job. I have the highest approval rating of any governor in America. And that's 75% approval among Republicans, independents, and Democrats, white and black, young and old. So. I would say he's a damn good governor. <laughs> Question two, how would you describe Donald Trump as a potential presidential candidate again? I don't think that that's the best thing for Donald Trump or for the Republican Party or the country. I think that uh, I think while I support a lot of Donald Trump's policies, um, I mean, he's uh, he's not getting any younger and he's certainly under a lot of uh, scr uh, scrutiny. And, you know, he fired up the base, but he turned off a whole lot of swing voters that we need to win elections. All right, this one's a deep one, but question three, should states ban all abortions like some of them are trying? You know, I, I believe in states' rights and states ought to be making the decision, but no, I don't think we ought to ban all abortions. I know that that's, that's, in, that's what some people are trying to do. Um, I, I think most people have a more nuanced position on abortion. If, even if you're strongly pro-life, you typically want exceptions. And even if you're strongly pro-choice, you want limitations in, the, in the, say, the third trimester. So it's not a black and white issue, but no, we shouldn't outlaw abortions. Question four, uh, should state or, and or federal government allocate more public dollars to help families send students to private schools? Yes, um, I think uh, school choice and uh, charter schools are an important part, something I fought for. You know, some of the kids in our, you know, we put, we put record funding in the public schools eight years in a row, more than any other governor in the history of the state. But we also pushed and far, fought our 70% progressive Democratic legislature to make sure we provided scholarship for poor kids and deserving kids uh, to get a chance to go to the, the, uh, the, the private school of their choice. Okay, question five, a little more open-ended, but what is an area that you would like to see Republican leaders focus more on when it comes to our country? You know, I think we ought to focus more on the things that I talked about earlier, that they're just, I think we ought to focus on the economy, we ought to focus on crime, we ought to focus on education. There's certainly lots of other issues to debate, but those are the ones that we can appeal to those swing voters, the independents that decide every election. That's what they care about. We can convince some concerning, some discerning Democrats to cross over and vote with us. Because if we just focus on base issues and, and, and right wing uh, red meat issues, you know, we don't get to convert other people over to our side and say, these are the guys that are focused on what I care about. OK, we always end the show with a prediction where the guest makes a prediction about whatever. What do you have? That's a uh, that's a hard one. I'm going to give you an easy one. You're probably going to say I, I took the easy path out, but I'm going to predict that Governor Kim Reynolds wins in a landslide and then she goes on to be the chairman and run the Republican Governors Association. He did kind of take an easy one there. didn't really stick it out as a Republican here. Uh, a little context here because this comes up from time to time. So this last segment, the insiders quick six. We pick those five random questions that we ask the guests here almost every week. And no, they do not know what the topics are ahead of time. So we didn't sit down with Larry Hogan ahead of time to let them know all this stuff. Obviously, some, his staff didn't do this, but uh, sometimes staff will reach out to say, hey, can we know what the topics are? That's not how this works. It's supposed to be kind of a rapid fire kind of thing so that they have to think on their feet or on their seat if they're sitting next to me to do this, to kind of give you a little little uh, flavor perhaps about the way they think and the way they can kind of quickly quickly think about a variety of topics. The prediction is an open-ended thing. They're allowed to pretty much come up with any topic they want. Serious, not serious, politics, not serious, not politics, whatever they want to do. A little background. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next week.